I tell people I work in Burj Khalifa, I get the reaction. Wow, what are you doing there? How is the building? Burj Khalifa is a critical building and it is very important for the country. So we deal with the assets with highest criticality in terms of how we maintain them. The air conditioning system, the building movement monitoring system, 57 elevators, literally everything in this building communicate back and forth to this very room. Honeywell have provided us with the best system that runs our assets, basically, or control the assets. I've had CEOs of large organizations say openly, I have no idea how much money we're losing in our buildings. And it is an acute focus here. The vision for where they want to go and how they want to use technology to drive savings to their P&L is remarkably focused. In a typical operation, a machine will give us an alarm as an indication of a failure. Our operator in this control room then calls the help desk. The help desk calls the supervisor who calls the technician to go and diagnose what caused the alarm, go back to the store to take the tools required, go back to the asset, fix it, and that's it. Yeah, OK, it's clear. Huh? So Honeywell came up with algorithms that I would say mimic that uh, diagnostics by utilizing sensors on the floor, doing some checks so the machine would understand what is happening. And the machine is learning with time, so it is building that portfolio. The next step is really driving towards more autonomous control because anybody can kind of do analytics. The hard part really comes from making the decisions about where you want to go based on the signals that you're receiving and doing it in a way that doesn't require human intervention. My vision of a predictive maintenance in the future is to be completely autonomous. I want to reach into a state where I don't even have to open my laptop knowing that the building is running itself on its own. The way we're driving improvements is something that we have heard from our customers is shocking. If you imagine the impact being somewhere between 10 and 30% in OPEX savings month over month, that's a dramatic improvement in the way you're running your building.